Good evening, shock and disbelief on the fourth day of the Holly Bobo murder trial as the state's star witness Jason Autry tells all. Tonight we know the heartbreaking details of the nursing students final moments alive and the gruesome effort to cover up the crime. All of it playing out in Hardin County where News Channel 5's Chris Conti is right now. Chris, some major bombshells today. The biggest of which, Vicki, was an allegation that Zach Adams went to Holly's Bobo's home in April of 2011 to show her brother how to make meth. If true, it would mean that Clint Bobo could have been the catalyst that set this entire ordeal into motion. We expected drama here today, but nothing like what unfolded. The truth. That's what everyone inside this courthouse wanted to hear today. State your first and last name and spell it. Jason Autry. But if this was the truth, we quickly learned it would be difficult to stomach. The body didn't weigh very much. Jason Autry is no stranger to courtrooms. He, like his one-time friend Zach Adams, is accused of killing, kidnapping, and raping Holly Bobo. I did not kidnap, I did not rape, and I did not kill Miss Bobo. And I did not, but I lied and said that I didn't have no details to it. It was all so matter-of-fact today poetic in a sense, as he laid out how he met Zach Adams to buy meth the day Holly went missing. And he said, I need you to help me bury this body. In the back of a pickup truck, he told jurors was Holly. The body was laying in a multicolored farm blanket. The plan, Autry testified, drive to the Tennessee River, gut the nursing student's body, and throw her in so she wouldn't float. And I grabbed the upper torso of Miss Bobo. Zach come around. Let the tailgate down. I brought the upper torso to the end of the tailgate. But Holly wouldn't be dumped in the river that day. She was still alive. I see the foot move, a movement, and a, a sound of distress that sound like, hmm, come out of her voice, come out, come from the blanket. Autry then told jurors that Zach went into his pickup truck and grabbed a gun. Boom. The gun sound, gun went out. One shot. If true, the testimony would be consistent with a medical examiner showing a bullet hole in Holly's skull. The most shocking part of the day, though, when Autry said Zach Adams went to Holly's house the day she was kidnapped to visit her brother. The real reason that we were there was to show Clint how to manufacture meth. He said we got there early. She come outside screaming and raising hell. They came here seeking the truth today. No one knew, though, that this is what we'd hear. Quite a day that still isn't over. You are looking live inside the courtroom right now where Jason Autry is still on the stand some six hours later. He is being cross-examined now by Zach Adams' defense attorney. A few other notable things that happened here today. We learned that there was some kind of possible plot underway to have Zach Adams' brother Dylan killed after all of this because he kept talking about this alleged cover-up when Holly died. Also important to note here that Jason Autry was given an immunity deal. None of what he said here today or says here tonight can be used against him if he goes to trial. The judge here telling the jury that they will go through the evening until he is done being cross-examined. We are live in Hardin County this evening. Chris Conti, News Channel 5. Hard to listen to. Thanks, Chris. Well, keep it on the News Channel 5 network for gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of the Holly Bobo murder trial live on News Channel 5 Plus and streaming live on NewsChannel5.com. We also have a special Holly Bobo section on our website where you can find stories and a timeline.